Hey guys, Azu here, back in the saddle again, casting more StarCraft 2 games. I'm going to start casting the quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals of the Zotac Cup. If you don't know what the Zotac Cup is, look it up. It is a European tournament hosted to all StarCraft players who can play in a European realm. It's a very high-level tournament, as you'll see from our first player I'm going to introduce, MTW Damaga. If you don't know who Damaga is, look him up. He's a very high-level Zerg player on the European ladder. Jumping to our Protoss' base, Harpner. I do not know a whole lot about Harpner, but I can tell you he got to the quarterfinals of the Zotac Cup. That is quite a merit in itself. I believe it's either 1,000 players or 512 players involved in the Zotac Cup. And here we go. Doesn't look like we're going to see a proxy out of a Protoss player. Thrown down that pylon right on 9, right as we'd expect. Damaga still droning up. And taking a look at our map, it's going to be Zelnaga Caverns, as you'll see it leads right to a very nice, easy to get to expansion, but your third base is much harder to take, your options being here, which is blocked by a rock, or the goal, which is completely blocked by a rock. And here we go, Protoss, Scout, coming across, about to get in our Zerg's base and see exactly what's going on. Nothing too exciting going on for Demagia, no early pool, so our Protoss player is going to know that there's no early Zergling rush coming, jumping back to our Protoss player's base, Chrono boosting out probes. Nothing too exciting. I wonder if he's going to throw on that Cybernetics Core right after, because here we go. Assimilator time. Gas getting started. I imagine we're going to see a Cybernetics Core immediately after this gateway. Jumping back to Demaga's base. Up oh, here we go. Up to 300 minerals. Here comes the drone. I imagine, yep, hatch going down. Fast expansion for Demaga. Very, very strong. <laughs> Excuse me. Very, very interesting play for such a small map. A lot of times you'll see an uh-oh. Protoss player doesn't like what he's seeing. Gonna do the double pylon, but oh no, here comes Demaga, and oh look, our Protoss player, instead of completely walling off, decides to throw down one pylon, excuse me, one pylon, build a Zealot, as you'll see, but not throw a second pylon. I feel like he might have had time if he decided not to build a Zealot, not sure what the point of this pylon is going to be, but only time will tell, taking a look at our Protoss' base. Zealot just getting finished, still chrono boosting out Zealots, and still getting gas, but without a cybernetics core, not sure what he's going to be spending that gas on. And here go the drones, prying away, and oh man, he's going to throw it on a forge right at the Protoss player's base. Pro excuse me, Zerg player's base. Spawning pool almost done. I'm not quite sure where Harpner's going to come out of this. He's going to, he's invested quite a bit of money into this first harassment, and he's not going to be able to lay down a cannon before our Zerg player gets out of, excuse me, our Zerg player gets out Zerglings. We'll see if this is going to end up paying up and trying everything he can to lessen this opening. I imagine he's going to use that Zealot to try and block off. Here we go, second Zealot on their way, and Lings are now on the field. Here we go, cannon being put up. Look at that, completely trapping those Zerglings in. I wasn't sure where he was going to go with this, and he's got the Zealot in a perfect position. To not let those Zerglings buy. Second Zealot filling it in. Cannon almost done. And here we go. Damaga responding with three spine crawlers. We'll see if it's going to be enough. Zerglings getting a small surround. And the drones in the mix. I don't know how our Protoss player. Our Protoss player definitely going to lose this battle, I think. Can oh, excuse me. Zealot's just about down. One cannon into the mix. Here we go. Look at the Zerglings. They can't hit it. Only one Zergling at a time. Queen trying to get it. And now trapped in even further. Spine crawlers now done. Getting moved into position. Here we go. I think this cannon's going to go down. I think this harass is going to be over. Demaga defends it very, very perfectly. Zealot getting poked away. Poke, poke, poke. Queen poking as well, but not going to be a, enough for a Protoss player. A Protoss player forced a cannon, excuse me, cancel both cannons. These forge, these pylons are as good as dead. Excuse me. Jumping back to our Protoss player's piece. Look at that. Up to 200 gas. Getting that gas a little bit early may have turned out to bite him in the rear because those workers were not mining minerals, throwing down a cybernetics core, trying to take up as quickly as possible. Knows that Demaga has got the lead. He's got a force to completely wall off. Here come Zerglings into the mix. We'll see if these Zerglings are able to do any damage. There's only one Zealot here, and the other Zealot was supply blocked until just now because of losing those pylons. Cannon finally finished. I think this is going to be enough to defend. Yup, Demaga forced to back up. Can't do anything about this wall right now. Knows that he's going to have to just macro off. He's already got a huge advantage since Harpner's, excuse, Harpner's uh, initial harassment was deterred by very great play. Demaga just waiting till the time is right to actually push out. And here we go. Protoss player getting zealots. Chrono boosting out work at as fast as he can. He's trying to get back. And look at this. He's out of just losing all those early pylons, putting him in a tough position. He was down to 18 supply in the red. 
Two Zealots going out, not sure what... Oh, and Demaga with his Lings on hold, but running away, only losing one Ling. It would have been a close battle if these Lings had decided, actually only seeing that there's about six Lings initially. It wouldn't have been enough to take out two Zealots without some very nice micro. Here we go, taking one more look, double gateway. Here he goes, moving into a four gate, warp gate push. He needs to do damage, he needs to do it very hard and very fast. We'll see if that small five second increase on warping in units will take... Will, excuse me, be quite the difference maker in this game. Taking a closer look at Demagus base, adding on Ling Speed, getting another gas. Looks like, yep, operating off of two gases. I imagine we'll see this layer starting as soon as he gets another Hunter gas. Ling's just sitting out there, and now he's adding on sentries to go with his Zealots. Zealot sentry arm extremely strong against Zerglings. Hopefully, Demaga decides to transition to something else, and just as I say that, Bailing Ness going down. Zealot Sentry trying to chase those Lings. The Lings are going to get away, and more Lings into the mix. There's going to be too many Lings for this small number of units to deal with. Oh no, Force Fields trying to do everything they can, but no, it's not going to be enough. Demaga just has too many Lings, too many units. Zealot fighting bravely, but goes down anyway. Taking another look, he actually decided to open up this wall by removing that pylon and moving it up. He destroyed that pylon, I should say, and moved the pylon up. Warping in more star or excuse me, more sentries. Here we go. Nothing. The Lings don't want to just try and run by. That'd be very tough. One force field here, and suddenly his Lings are cut in half with this wise pile on the outside. Finally adding on some Stalkers. Lings first Stalkers. He's extremely in the Lings' favor if they get this around. Otherwise, these force fields may be the difference maker. Oh, and here we go. Twelve Bailings being added on with a bunch of Lings coming into. Mag is ready to end this game. He is not messing around. Taking a look to Mag's base. Still has not started his lair, and Look at that, using these spine crawlers to break down these walls. Ling's getting ready to do the run by. Bailings, we'll see what he does with these Bailings. Is he going to break the units or is he going to break the buildings? Very interesting. And look at this, he throws down another pylon. Does not want those Ling's to get in. And all oh, the Bailings just exploding on nearly nothing. Being trapped. I oh no. I completely thought that the Maga would have had the lead in this fight. Bailings almost going to get there, but they're blowing up on next to nothing, not doing as much damage as he would have liked for having so many Bailings. And with that wall and can, it's going to be extremely tough to break that using nothing but Zerglings. Stalker sitting on the outside and still doing everything he can to hold on the best he can in this game. And Demaga just taking over this map. Third expansion being added on. Little altercation going down. Surrounding one Stalker. Trying to get another surround, but the Stalker's microing away. I don't think these Lings are going to make it. Ling's going down one at a time. There we go. Ling's being finally cleaned up. Look at these Stalker's life. Mostly losing just shields. Two of them in the orange and red, but shields regenerate extremely fast in this game. Adding on more Stalkers. Going for a Stalker heavy army. And look at the way he's moving these pylons. He has a pylon here. Now he has a pylon here. So if he ever loses a pylon, he still has a closer distance of warping units. And here we go. Stalker's coming into the expansion for Demaga. Ling's trying to get a surround, but it's not going to be enough Ling's for this many Stalkers. Ling's forced to retreat. Here we go. Pilot being warped in. Warping in reinforcements. Probably going to push in as soon as he's got these reinforcements. Building nothing but Stalkers. Decides the force fields are no longer worth it. Here we go. Coming in. Is he going to take out the... Yeah, going right for the spine crawlers. Look at this ball of links. Trying to get a surround, but will his micro be enough? One Stalker getting surrounded. Almost getting a second Stalker surrounded. Oh, now he's got almost a surround on the entire group, but there might be too many Stalkers. Finally, more Lings entering the mix, and a Queen. I think it's going to come out very close, but I think it's going to come out in our Protoss player's favor. Lings doing everything they can. No, it looks like it's actually turning into our Zerg player's favor. Yes, Zerg player comes ahead. Nothing but Zerg. He's taking down these Stalkers, even with this micro. Look at the way he's got them in this corner. Only a couple Lings can hit him at a time, but just too many Lings. Finally, four more Stalkers coming to support, but it's going to be too much. Forced a good game out. Hartner, good games. The early harass just didn't pay off. This was game one. I'm going to start casting game two of the quarterfinals to MAGA up 1-0.